Hi, my name is Max Fomichev Zemelo. I'm the founder of Maximus Energy Corporation. Today I'm going to show you how to use MCA Pro with a high purity germanium detector. For the MCA Pro to work with high purity germanium detector, you need a version of the MCA that comes with the preamp power connector, which is DB9 mounted on the front panel of the MCA. Before you plug in your germanium detector into MCA Pro, you need to fill it with liquid nitrogen and make sure that you have sufficient time for the detector to cool. Once the detector is cooled, the first thing you do, you plug the preamp power supply from the detector into the MCA Pro. If the detector is cool, the green cold uh, LED light on the detector will be illuminated green. If the detector is warm, the warm light will be on, then you'll need to wait some more, or maybe you'll need to add additional liquid nitrogen to your detector. So the uh, green cold light must be on, it means that the detector is ready for operation. Then you connect the SHV bias cable from your detector to the MCA Pro. Finally, you connect the energy output of your detector to channel 1 on the MCA Pro. Now we are ready to launch pulse counter software. If you buy a germanium system from me uh, that comes with MCA Pro, it will come with pulse counter project already configured and you don't need to do anything to acquire spectrum. If not, you will need to create a new project and set up a preset for your detector. In this case, I have already a project set up and I'm going to start a new measurement. So generally, uh, when you set up a new project, uh, you must allow detector to ramp its bias voltage slowly. So in my, in my case, it's set to 20 seconds. So it will take 20 seconds for the bias voltage to increase gradually from zero to the rated voltage of the detector, 2000 volts in this case. And as soon as the bias voltage is established, the detector will start acquiring data that you see here on screen. Here on screen you see a sample spectrum from my cesium-137 source that confirms the detector operation. So a quick note on the preset setup. I recommend sampling rate of 10 MHz. So in this case uh, my detector bias voltage is 2000 volts and I set up for warm up time of 20 seconds to allow for gradual voltage built up on your detector. So the recommended coupling is DC and the recommended voltage range depends on your detector. It's 100 millivolts in my case and I'm using Canberra GC2020 detector. The pulse shaping needs to be trapezoidal and positive or negative polarity depends on your detector type. Uh, shaping time on the order of 2 microseconds and flat top is on the order of half a microsecond. MCA threshold I set to 1 millivolt and you might need to use a smaller or higher value depending on your range, on your signal range. And these are you know, all of the essential parameters that you need to worry about. And these are sufficient to start acquiring data from your detector. MCA Pro with a preamp power supply is a cost-effective solution for high precision germanium spectroscopy. It is a turnkey solution that will work right out of the box uh, and all you need is MCA Pro. It has preamp power supply and bias voltage power supply, multi-channel analyzer and pulse processor all in one box. MCA Pro comes standard with Pulse Counter Pro software. Order yours at my website maximus.com.